Hey guys, here is our brand new Cat 289D compact track loader. Um, this is going to be a walk around and also a review. Thought I'd switch it up, give you guys a little more information about the machines, um, our new ones. So, tell you what I like and what I don't like about the machine. It uh, it weighs in at 10,500 pounds. It is uh, 78 inches wide. That includes the bucket. So this machine pretty much has every uh, option on it we got it with. As you can see, enclosed cab. It is uh, two speed and high flow. So uh, it goes 5.2 miles per hour in slow and 8.4 miles per hour in two speed. Um, we've got, uh, this is your hydraulic fluid fill and uh, your gauge is right here to read it. As you can see, everything's very easy to get to on this machine. This is an extremely well thought out machine, I will say. And I absolutely love this machine. So here's your undercarriage. Triple uh, bogey wheels there and here. In the back, your drive. I mean, it's very beefy. It's like a, I don't know, I call this like a D2. Little dozer. Um, these are uh, what are called torsion bars. And basically this right here and this right here is the only way it's attached to the uh, frame of the machine. And they go through there, and what there is in here is rubber, very hard rubber, and it flexes when you go over bumps, so your track frame will move independently of the uh, rest of the machine, and it actually provides a way smoother ride, so it's not, you know, all rigid like some other models. So, some other manufacturers offer, like, roller suspension I know one of them calls it and a couple call it some other things so this just comes standard on this machine and it works very well if you guys want to see I did I got to go out to the cat plant a couple of years ago and I put out a video of showing how this system works and their MTL undercarriage so see that video playing in the corner you can click that and watch that video and come back to this if you want see how that works um, the reason we went with the CTL undercarriage instead of the MTL, so CTL is compact track loader, MTL is multi-terrain loader, um, is the MTL undercarriage we didn't think would hold up to the work with, that we do, um, but the MTL car undercarriage is extremely nice and definitely offers you the smoothest ride. So we got uh, the counterweight kit on here. Here's the back of it. I like how the uh, lights are recessed here so nothing can hit them. And if you got a forestry package, you can actually put guards over this. Um, you got a tie down point there. This is how you open the back. So it has a 74 horsepower motor and it is actually a cat motor. You got your uh, diesel fuel right there, air filter, get tons of room in here. So there's plenty of room to get to everything. Everything is in a good spot. Your filters, hydraulic fluids up in there a little bit. So that might be the toughest one to get to. Um, and then this whole thing raises right up undo this latch that raises up you can get right in there and then all you have to do here is unbolt these and it hinges on that and this can go right up and can get completely out of your way which is nice
Uh, we did buy a backup camera after, um, and I actually put it in myself. It was extremely easy, so if you guys want to put one of those in, if you already have a machine, I highly recommend it. Um, actually makes it a lot easier, because about the only thing about this machine I have to complain about is rear visibility straight out the back. But I think that's what you're going to get with all these new machines, with all the new emissions. Um, so it has a rated operating capacity of 4,050 pounds. But um, I have tested this machine, which was one of my previous videos, um, lifting some granite at our shop, and it'll lift 5,280 pounds. That is maxing it out completely. Um, so just to give you a sense of lifting capacity. Um, so one thing I really like about this, and it's like all these little things that they kind of thought of, which was really nice and why we ended up really going with this machine, well, this isn't the only reason, but well, if you notice, all the grease zerks here, 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 the here. Um, I think the only one that is not accessible from the side is for the uh, power attach. And I really like that because on my old machine, some of them would be up here, some of them would be under, some of them would be underneath here. So it's real nice to grease the machine. Just, you know, how I said it was really well thought out. You just go right down the side of the machine, very easy to grease. Um, we did get it with the uh, quick coupler which is under here. Uh, it is electric um, instead of hydraulic, which has been working completely fine for us so far. So these lines here are not actually uh, hydraulic. There are electric lines in there, but those are just to protect it. Um, another thing I like is all this stuff you step on here is all actual grates. It's not that... Uh, sticky anti-slip paper stuff. I call it sandpaper, but it's not really. So inside the cab, we've got a uh, enclosed cab here with heat, AC. Um, this has a heated seat, which is this button right here. That's on, that's off. Uh, air ride seat. Uh, the machine has to be on, but so it goes up and down there, has to be on to pump up. Um, joystick controls, I got a radio in here. So I'll go ahead and get in. And uh, this machine is pretty silent on the inside. So to start it up, you put your two armrests down, which I actually like better than my overhead one on the old machine. When you get in, you don't hit your head on it. They wait until the welcome screen. Start it right up. It's an all digital readout. So I've got 58 hours on it so far. Um, so I wanted to wait a little bit. I know a whole, whole ton of you have been asking them for this video, but I wanted to wait and actually give you guys feedback on how the machine was. So that's why I waited. Rear view mirror. So visibility wise, you can see out to the bucket. Very good. You can see out to the tracks. Excellent. One thing I really like is that's looking right out the back. You can see exactly where your track is. So excellent visibility out the side. And then out the back. The only thing is you can't see stuff that's really close to you, but that's why I have this backup camera. So if you, as soon as you go in a reverse, the camera comes on. And when you stop, it goes back. Or if you hit this button, 
it'll just stay on all the time, which is what I usually do. So there are all your gauges. Um, you can go into settings here, operator settings. Uh, this is, you can set the sensitivity of the joysticks, uh, how fast it goes in snail mode, how fast it goes in two speed. You can set a speed limit. So that's like if you guys are running a planer or something hydraulically driven and you need to stay at a constant speed backing up or going forwards that'll do that backup camera units language digital readout gauge layout background color so lots of different options uh, job clock so you can have your own clock for every job and it'll tell you your fuel usage service intervals it tells you when you need to service it Events and alarms, view events. So diagnostics. There's nothing going on with it. Service. Information. And user management. So it'll tell you your machine hours and your overall fuel usage which I like so you can do a little uh, calculation and figure out how many uh, gallons per hour you average so that's that um, you got your heat and AC controls over here Turn AC on and off. You got your key, parking brake. All you do is click that. Those lights go off. Uh, windshield wiper and fluid are there. Um, all of this is this one. You lift this little tab up and you hold that, and it'll release your bucket pins. You hold it that way and it locks them. Um, this is bucket uh, raise and lower it'll automatically float or uh, keep the, the forks or bucket level so I'll show you that right now which is I think is really cool because if you're offloading pallets this is really nice I don't like to use it when loading gravel but that's just the way I've learned so when you go up it keeps the bucket level but a nice feature of this is it's dual so on most machines when you come down you have to do it yourself with this one it actually does it for you so it'll come right back down to the same spot so I like that um, this is to switch from two speed or your auxiliary number seven control, which corresponds with all these buttons down here. Uh, this is how you turn on auxiliary eight control. Over here, this is auxiliary override lights, and this is for continuous flow. So that's what I use for my Harley rake when I'm using that. So everything, great thing is all my old attachments hook right up. So because this is high flow, you get a million buttons and you can see they got a little diagram here. So we got horn, this trigger is two speed. Uh, the joystick controls forward, backwards, left, right is how you drive. Um, and then all these run different auxiliary buttons. So that would mostly be for like really complex attachments that would run off electrical as well and the same over here these are uh, two auxiliary and this is the main one that you use so like for my Harley rake this is what I use to get it to spin forward and backwards so when you click this on you just click it which I'll do so that flashes and then you hold this in one direction or the other for 
more than a couple seconds and it just continuously flows it so you don't have to hold the button the whole time which is really nice and then this trigger is to get the arms to go into float um, this is your throttle it's probably I'm guessing it's gonna be way more quiet in here than it sounds on the camera but um, so that's that. If you turn, it also has a uh, foot pedal. One thing I absolutely love about this is once you turn this all the way up, this pedal becomes a decelerator. So you can hear that? It goes down. So the reason that's great is because with the joystick controls, I find it a little bit harder to grade once you're going full bore. Um, but it's say you're pulling up to spread some loam right up against the house and you want to get close um, You can use the decelerator so it's just like in a dozer and Go a little bit slower right into the house let go of the pedal back right up. I think that's an awesome feature um, Sliding windows They lock up here and they also open from the back All your fuses are in here um, one thing I really like is you hold this and the uh, these are fully adjustable so they move independently so you can adjust each side how you like um, it is an air ride seat so it is extremely comfortable you just hold that button and it goes up So, and the controls move with you, which is really nice, which I like that. Um, air filter over there. Light. Got a little area to store some stuff up here. You do have a uh, 12 volt plug there if you wanna plug your phone in. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Well, actually, we'll run this. Uh, we'll run it full bore. You guys can hear your, see how loud this is. It's like silent. You can actually talk, like, I'm just talking normal, you can hear me. This is very nice. Um, to get the cab up, which I had to do to install a backup camera, I'm going to do this bolt and that bolt. It goes right up. Um, and you can check out these pictures that I took. Um, so you can see what it looks like underneath. Obviously, again, everything's nice and easy to get to, get to. Like I said, just really well thought out machine. Another nice feature, if you're working on the machine, if you're a mechanic, and you need to raise the arms up, uh, but you know you gotta put in the uh, safety bar here so you don't crush yourself, you just pull this pin out. That drops down. Now you get in. And you raise your arms up. That drops right into place. Put your arms down you can get right out. Now you're probably thinking, how do you get it back? So, I'll hop right out. It has this little tab that was underneath here, hanging down when it was back in here. And when I lift the arms up, it's gonna slide, it's gonna catch on that, and push it back down and it flips back in. 
can see right in there, you can get right to the back of the lights. Everything is so easy to get to in this machine. So I'm gonna lift it up. It falls down, you go down. It just folds right down. You just take the pin again, put it in. Put the pin in and lock it. That's it. The horn is over here. So there you go, there's our brand new CAT 289D. Um, absolutely love this machine. Like I said, I got some good hours on it, doing all different types of work. Some fine work, grading work, push and fill work. Um, it pushes just fine. It's a really nice machine, very well thought out. That's what we like about it. So one thing that I've gotten a bunch of comments on are, oh my god, cat machines are so more expensive than everybody else's. And uh, to be honest, that's what we thought at first too, but almost everything that I just showed you comes standard on this machine. So the only reason I'm telling you this is you guys got to make sure you are comparing apples to apples. Make sure you have the uh, suspension undercarriage, you know, two speed, high flow, radio, heated seat, all standard. The only thing extra was the backup camera so you know if you look at base price of a couple different machines yeah this will be a little bit more but um we found once we priced it apples to apples it was actually cheaper so there you go a little uh review and walk around of the 289d let me know uh if you guys liked it, like the review part. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, bye.